Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And you know, with my 3D printers, I use a Raspberry Pi and Octoprint. In this video, I'm going to show you my Octoprint. I'm going to show you my settings and some of my favorite plugins and show you how some of them work and give you a little tour around. So, if you're interested in this, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So if you don't know what Octoprint is, it is a Linux based program that lives on an SD card, it is burnt and installed on a Raspberry Pi. On a Raspberry Pi, it's a very ingenious little microprocessor that allows you to run Linux. I have six 3D printers, five Raspberry Pis, three cameras. Pretty much every one of my printers have their own Raspberry Pi, except for the orange one over there has multiple instances. So. Let's jump over on the computer where I've got all my web-based interfaces for Octoprint up and we're going to talk about them and I'll show you some of my favorite plugins as well as some customized settings that you can do for your Octoprint. So let's jump into the computer. Okay, as you see here the interface to a Raspberry Pi is a web interface. So not only can you use it on your laptop or desktop, but you can also use it on any of your mobile devices, such as your smartphone or your or tablet. So let's uh, talk a little bit. As you see here, I've got all six of my Octoprints open and each one of them is named for the individual printer that I have and they all kind of have different colors so let's talk about how I did that first off so if you click on the little wrench up there it brings up all your settings under appearances you can actually give it its name pick a color and your language and it's done that easy so next let's talk about some plugins these are some of my plugins and the ones that I use kind of really help the flow of the printing you know from my slicer I can save it through a watched folder which goes right into my Raspberry Pi here and from there it loads it automatically into the print stage. I also have a button that I can click and it preheats it to the temperatures I sliced it at automatically. And then I also have ones where I can move it around and control where the bed goes and do stuff like that. So let's go into the settings again and if you click on plugin managers it will give you all the plugins that you already have installed and then get more brings up a list of all of the different plugins that you can get for Octoprint so let's talk about one of the first ones which is auto select now some of these I might already have installed so you're not going to see them on the list but auto select is right here and what this does is as I either upload through my watch folder or upload through the actual interface a G code it'll automatically load it up and I don't have to select it or load it or do anything pretty simple so the next would be the preheat 
I would su highly suggest the preheat. Let's see, I already have it installed, so you're gonna see it in my list already. Preheat. That's the second one that I would suggest. The third one I would suggest would be auto scroll. And where this is useful is if you're in the terminal section here and this is just normally my printers are all off so that this the sound of the fans and everything aren't drowning out the sound of my recording but what would normally be happening is this would be spitting out continuous code so if you wanted to go back and, and look at something then you could do that or you can automatically go to auto scroll and it'll keep scrolling so otherwise it's just going to keep scrolling as you try to go up it's going to keep scrolling and it's going to keep going up and so this way it allows you to get to a particular part in your terminal and be able to either see a setting or copy and paste something or anything in particular so next is going to be now there are three different firmware is that my printers are running. I'm running Marlin, I'm running Repetier, and I'm running whatever the firmware is on the ANET stock board. So, oh, also, no, four of them actually. The Model Price Mini that I have also has a proprietary firmware that you really can't get into, but there's a plug-in for each one of those that you can actually, if I turn this printer on real quick. We'll connect up to it real quick so you can kind of see what's happening. So in my Marlin plugin, it's the EPROMP Marlin Editor plugin. As you see, I have all these plugin settings that I can, or all my firmware settings that I can adjust and just upload and change pretty, pretty easy. And there's also my model price. This is the original one. This has its own version of the ePrompt, which is for the Repetier firmware as well as the Mono Price Mini has its own version of the ePrompt editor for the Mono Price Select Mini. So that's an awesome plugin for Octoprint as well. Now the next one would be, let's take a look at this one because it's all set up, I've used this. It is the Multicolor plugin multicolor and this works by now say I got this G code that I've uploaded I go to my terminal or my G code viewer it'll load once it loads I can actually scroll through the layers and find where I want to change colors now on this particular model, I actually want to change colors right here, which is at layer six. So if you're gonna use this plugin, this is my tip. You're gonna set it at the layer that you want to print at the color so this is layer five let me elaborate that so this is layer five I want layer five to print and then I'm going to change colors for layer six so when I go up to multicolor and enter the number I want to put in the last layer that I want to print of the color that I'm at now so when it changes color, it's going to print the slayer and then go into a change. Now, also, if you click on advanced options down here, it gives you an add the G code. Now, if you watched my video on um, how to change 
the filament and the mid print on the CR10, there's actually a setting in the menu where you can change the filament. But there's also some code that you can put in your Marlin firmware, and that code is an M600, which is a filament change. And I have enabled that feature in Marlin, and that's where I've put this in, and it'll automatically move the head, retract, I put the new stuff in, it'll purge it, and then go back to where it was before. So that's an awesome plug-in if you're looking to do multiple colors in one print. And it is only by the layer, it's not gonna mix the colors on the inside of the print. So those are just a couple of the plugins that I use for Octoprint. If you would like to elaborate on any of these particular plugins or if you're interested in me doing another video on more of the Octoprint plugins because there are several other useful ones that I do use make sure that you leave a comment down in the comment section also down in the description there are all kinds of links that you can use to do some shopping that will help out the channel a lot as well as you can support me on patreon also, I have recently added a buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link down in the description for that too. Also, a special thanks for all those that do support me by letting the ads play, subscribing, liking the videos, sharing on your social media, and most of all, those that contribute via Patreon. Thank you very much for all your support. The channel is going greatly, so make sure that before you leave, you like this video, subscribe, and keep coming back for more Inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe pouring.